Hi, my name is Caitlin McIntyre. I'm a sophomore outside hitter from the legendary Beaverdam, Wisconsin. I love cheese and the Green Bay Packers, obviously. And this is my friend Hallie, who likes to talk like she's from Minnesota, don't you know? My name is Hallie Enderley. I'm a sophomore middle blocker from Mankato, Minnesota. I don't talk like that. It's foolish to think that, and I cannot keep goldfish alive for more than a week. What makes me proud to play volleyball for Central? First of all, I'd have to say just the commitment that the team has, like all of us, like everyone has the same motivation and like that kind of stuff. And just the passion that everyone plays with. Like I know at the MAC tournament, like it was funny because all the other teams were like, oh God, they look like a bunch of cheerleaders out there. Like that's just how we are. So I think that's part of our just like environment. And I just love to be a Chippewa. Yeah, and I can definitely agree with the celebration. I know um, when Coach was recruiting me, the, the, one of the things he said, he's like, you celebrate like a mad woman. And then I would watch some Central games, and I was like, it's like a million of me out there <laughs> screaming after every point, and it's just crazy. And I'd have to agree with the energy and like the commitment. It doesn't stop on the court. We did, every time we got a, a stuff block, we would do a, a hip little dance move called the Bernie, and uh, Jocelyn Verveldi and I would just... Uh, Lean back and Do you want to demonstrate it? I don't. Ready? Nope. Okay. <laughs> and you just do that because that's all the other team can do when, you know, you get blocked a lot. I was scared of Mac when I first met her. And I thought Hallie was crazy, to be honest. <gasps> oh I mean, God, not you crazy. No, but no, I mean, I could definitely see where you'd get that. I mean, I come off as kind of like an intense person, but like once you get to know me, it's She's kind just of a just goof. Like, whatever. But now our relationship, I would just say, it's a love-hate, probably. A love-hate? It's, it's not, it's the not hate? Much, there's not much hate. No, there can be sometimes. We just pick on each other a yeah, lot. It's seriously. not actual hate. There was one time where my thumb has been jammed and swollen, so feel sorry for me. And I'm like talking about it. I'm like, oh, my thumb hurts so bad. And Max says, from what? And I said, from blocking. And she and goes, go ahead. From blocking what? Because as if she doesn't block anything, which is a lie because she's awesome, but... Good I mean, we just now. pick on each other all Bigger the time. Bigger than she is. She, whatever. And what motivates us to keep going? Um, for me, it I wanted to go to college play volleyball ever since I was like way little. I was a gym rat. My mom was the JV coach, and then like I just went up the ranks in high school, and like it was my dream. And just when I remember when coach offered me, and I was like, oh my gosh, I really have like a chance to make this come true. And it's my passion and you know, you just, you do what you have to and you give everything you have for something you love, so. Yeah. My story's a bit different. I was raised in a basketball family. Both of my parents played college basketball. And um, so like my entire life, I grew up wanting to play college basketball and it's kind of like sixth grade year, seventh grade year, I think. My mom's like, I really didn't want to go up for volleyball. I did it the year before and I didn't like it. And <laughs> I was like, she's like, I think you should just try it one more year or whatever. And then I ended up just sort of falling in love with it. Went out for club that year and sort of got into the travel ordeal. And then from then on, it was just a passion. And I think now it's just, you know, being your best every day in the classroom, on the court. And it's, that's really the motivation behind it all. Our relationship with Eric Olson. Eric Olson. Here it goes. Eric's a great guy, to be Seriously. honest. Seriously. He's a lot of the reason I think both of us came here. Just, I mean, he'll tell you how it is. You might not like it sometimes, to be honest. But you but can always tell that he like actually like cares about you and like your de like your development as a player and as a person. Like he want like his main thing is like we want to make great people. Yeah. It's like after these four years, it's like you know you're on your own. Lauren Krupski, my idol. Oh, God, I should have said I looked up to her. I took her number, um, or borrowed it. It was bestowed upon me. And um, also bestowed upon me were her various colored headbands. Um, for She'd wear the opponent's color headbands, and um, one day she brought the bag to me and said, Young Chippewa, this is now yours. And um, I will wear them. Not this season yet. I gotta wait until I'm a, until I'm a massive, force to reckon with in the Mac and then you will know who is that like stick like massive human <laughs> running around with curly hair with curly hair <laughs> who has curly hair anymore like you yeah you're right <laughs> guys don't like curly hair. stop
<laughs> so anyway, I don't know. So uh, headbands are getting hard hitting. Um, I mean, it's, you don't hit that. She really doesn't. She's not no, that good. I mean, I can't hit. Hard. She's from Wisconsin. <laughs> They're not good at sports. Hey. I'm in Minnesota. Huh? How good are the Leave Vikings? Us alone, are the Vikings? Jared Allen. Brother. Anyway, um, hard hitting. I would just. I mean, it's fun when you hit people in the face and in the whatever. And I don't know. It's just. It's almost like an adrenaline rush, like just going after it every time and just. I mean, it's got. I used to be really out of control, to be honest. Like I think, yeah, let's hit this ball really hard when it's, I would, you know. But she hits in the court now. So now it's. I mean, it's. We're working on it. It's good. Spiking. Everybody wants to spike. Bump set. Spike. Yeah. Don't use that terminology. <laughs> Volleyball players hate that when you say bump and spike. Only I can say spike, because I'm just retro with my lingo. <laughs> oh my god! I gotta write. I gotta tweet that. That was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me. Yeah. Yeah, follow me, man. Yeah, we're trying to get like a thousand followers on Twitter. We are? I You're don't right. Know. We should. That's it's a like good my life inspiration, goal. you think? Because people want to hear what you say about headbands and hard hitting. Yeah. Yeah. We'll tweet about that, sure. <laughs>